Okay, we're recording now. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Christy. And I have also Christy with me here from Australia. I'm Hi, from, everyone. I'm from um, United States, California. And um, we have gathered together, um, the two Christies, to bring forth a message, uh, to bring forth a um, activation. And um, we have met over Facebook. And uh, we wanted to share with you sort of our, our meeting and, and what we're doing here. And it's about co-creating. Um, and Christy here has mentioned that this is, this is a part of our process and how we're going to create. And it's meeting people online, in person, whatever and uh, aligning our energy and then start to get a knowing of what we're doing <laughs> or what we're about to do. Um, and um, I simply text me or message uh, Christy and said, hey, do you wanna meet? Do you wanna meet on Zoom? Uh, because I think there's something we're working on. And uh, she agreed mm -hmm. as, as she felt the same. So we just started to explore and um, it's been uh, quite a little journey. I think we've done this one over a week's time, something like that, Christy? Yeah, yeah. And I think it was initiated because we were both sharing that we had come into contact with the water being. That's right. Very rarely. And so there seemed to be a lot of synchronicity going on there. And then as soon as we connected, there was just so much synchronicity with numbers, and um, the fact that we have the same names <laughs> yeah. and Bay Australia, um, just, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, it, it's so true. It was with the water consciousness because you had just posted something about a, a message where you said um, that we, we're gonna really start connecting to that or encouragement to start connecting to the water consciousness or the water beings. And, and I had just, gotten a message uh, through the water consciousness and it, yeah it was so exciting so fun and actually i had um seen you about six months ago i think is when i actually saw you on facebook and i really resonated with what's your message and i i felt from that point okay there's something here and here we are six months later mm -hmm. or maybe five months something yeah. like that. <laughs> so so anyway, so we're an example of how people are coming together and it's, it's very exciting. And I know we've both been working um, uh, individually to prepare for this and in different means, different methods. Uh, and maybe, um, Chris, do you want to share a little bit about what your methods of preparation for this or what you've been doing uh, with Gary and how you, uh, Gary and how you, um, Kind of come together uh, mm -hmm. with, with this knowing of what we're doing. Okay, um, so I'm very blessed to be married to a beautiful man who um, channels the Lightbringer Collective, and I have my own spiritual practice as well, um, where I receive a lot of knowings, and I have a very strong connection to the elementals, um, and so I receive sort. Of um, knowledge about things such as that I have something very big with the water um, to do and then I'm able to talk to my husband where he channels the Lightbringer Collective and we can um, explore explore what's happening and he can bring through specific details of how we can do things together. Yeah. Oh, fun. And so while Christy was doing this, I was getting like information and uh, uh, synchronicities is how a lot of things come together for me. Just getting synchronicities, researching, pulling things. Um, I created some uh, diagrams, uh, getting a knowing where in the water that we were going to be focusing on um, and um, what we're activating uh, in this now. And as we pulled our notes together and experiences together, um, we came up with what we're about to um, activate. 
So uh, it's been a really cool and fun process and so exciting. And I look forward to so much more of this uh, because um, it, um, it's just pure love is what it is. <laughs> you know, you can't explain it any more than that. It's, it's pure love. Um, so um, let's see, anything else we should mention uh, before I bring up the, the diagram? Christy, anything particular you think? Um, bring up the diagram and okay. we can talk about what, what our actual focus is and what we're hoping to achieve. Yeah, sounds good. With this connection. Okay, can you see it there? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so um, here is the diagram that um, I created based on our interactions and information that came through both of us. Um, a lot of numbers here, a lot of numerical things coming up. Uh, so numbers, math, or, or numbers themselves have carry so much energy and uh, more than what I even know, I'm just bringing it forward because that's what I'm getting. Uh, but we've got three main nodes here in this diagram that create this uh, tetrahedron um, or pyramid um, or trinity, uh, whatever you want to call it here. And um, the three nodes are um, represented by lighthouses in certain locations. We have uh, the Lion Lighthouse in Long Beach, California, USA, and here's the coordinates for that. We have Cape Byron Lighthouse in, in uh, the New South Wales, Australia, with the coordinates for that. And then we have the Cabo de Hornos Cape Horn uh, Lighthouse in Chile. Um, and so we're representing three main uh, uh, continents here. And within those, uh, we have, um, besides the coordinate, coordinates, I just noted the miles between these nodes. Now, if you notice, and, there's, and they're also in kilometers, if you notice the mileage and kilometers, they're very close together. And what I got when I was pulling to this, this together is that, of course, they're not exact. And a tetrahedron or a pyramid, you know, usually you have exact. But I feel that one time they were very exact in, in their location. So they're a little bit off here. But um, that uh, gives you a little bit of idea that, you know, we're not quite exactly um, on the straight line or straight edge the same. But it looks like it when you just take a first glance at it. Also within these, these locations are... Um, animal totems that came through. Um, and uh, the Long Beach one is a lion. It is called a lion lighthouse. And the number associated with that is eight. And um, Kate, or the Byron lighthouse is the whale. And Christy has said that uh, the whales are just plentiful out there. So that mm -hmm. is, that's beautiful. Um, and uh, the number associated with that is nine. And then at uh, Cape Horn in Chile is the um, albatross, uh, which is a, um, uh, a seabird that was used uh, for early, early times uh, where sailors uh, watched them to see where the winds uh, were coming from. So they're very um, revered, I guess, birds in, in that area. So... Uh, Numerology, if you add all these numbers together, it gets a master number of 22. Christy, I thought about this, 22. Remember the message that you got, two? You kept getting the two, or Gary got two. Um, you think that there's two. I can't remember exactly what he said. Mm. But then when I got the two, two, I thought, oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, okay. that's true. I hadn't <laughs> thought of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so much synchronicity here with our numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so all these numbers play a very tremendous part that I can't even describe to you. I just know uh, that there's a magic within them. And um, so this visual is something that um, I mainly, um, actually I'll probably, I'll just leave this up for a bit. Um, 
Um, actually, I'm going to bring up another one, and then we'll we'll see. Uh, I don't know what might feel right if I want to leave this up when I do light language, or if I just um, you know everybody can get a visual. So let let me go ahead and bring up the other one real quick. Two as oh, actually, I'm sorry. You know what I want to do? I want to ask: Is there anything, Christy? that you um that you want to say about this anything that you want to bring forth on this um do you want me to share what the dragon collective yes i do told us that we're yes. actually doing here today yes okay, i totally do totally totally I've, I've written it down so i'm just going to read it yes um so this connection is going to create a grid that will recognize, be recognized as a pyramid in form. So you can see the pyramid in the diagram there. What would, and it's going to connect to the Sirius system. Um, right now we have very strong Sirius energies coming through. So this is part of um, a, a wide activation from that. We're gonna be assisted by the whales and the dolphins who of course are from Sirius. They're going to amplify, amplify our vibration and our connection in a frequency that then they will express and will permeate out to all that is. This will also amplify through the portals to the Sirius system. Um, so both of us Christies represent one point of the energetic portal um, as we're located in Byron Bay and in Long Beach and the third point is actually the dolphins and the whales are going to um, be bringing through their frequency to hold that point for us um, so okay so what what this is is it's a it's an energetic grid that has always existed but has been in a dormant state for a while. And what we're doing is we're just plugging it in and activating it. And what it's going to bring through is um, mm. codes and energies from Sirius, which will allow an activation and um, a rise in frequency of the water, which will then, as, as we are, um, created with so much water and as we ingest water we will be taking in these seeds of light that can then create an activation within us um, to start so that we can start becoming our crystalline selves and that's that's the core of what we're doing exactly that's that's great thank you thank you so much um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show the lighthouses. I'm going to bring the lighthouses up just to get a visual on that. <clears throat> okay, so these are the actual uh, lighthouses that are represented in these nodes. And as Christy said, this is the Long Beach one, the lions uh, represent with our totem lion. Um, the one um, in Cape Horn, uh, Chile, represented with the albatross, but also held by the dolphins and, and whales, as Christy mentioned. And then we have the uh, uh, Byron Lighthouse in Australia, uh, represented by the whales. And um, th this is a, kind of an interesting point of um, a message that I received, um, where which brought me to what created these nodes uh, and this message was received i think i received it on march the 10th of this year and it just really struck me and i thought wow okay and so it stuck with me so when i was exploring this other um you know this tetrahedron or pyramid um i wasn't sure what i was looking for and all of a sudden lighthouses that's what it was so it led me to that, but um, this is a, just a, a channel message about lighthouses and this represents our oneness. So I'll just read it real quick. Oneness is a transformative state of being. It is love, it is peace, it is harmony and balance within your being. A state you are re-familiarizing yourself with. 
It is the sweetness and the joy that is life to be one with all that is creation. In your oneness, you are the lighthouse that stands solid as the waves crash over you. You cannot be moved in any way other than the reflection of light out into the darkness. The chaos is all around you and that which cannot touch you as you are the beacon unto this storm that will be calmed by your presence in over everlasting love and peace. This is the solidarity of your truth that will be told among the stars and live within the immortal being that you are. And when I read this, I'm just thinking how this is so representational of what's happening right now, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. The chaos. So uh, anyway, so I just wanted to share that and everybody can also get a visual of um, these lighthouses, the visual that we, um, that I showed earlier um, of the diagram and, um, and the, anything, um, Christy, that you have um, or want to express on this? Any? Um, just this other little piece from the dragons. They were saying that in the acknowledgement of us reaching out to the waters and reaching out to each other, and bringing our lights of love together. So that's another message of unity and oneness. Yeah. We create a joining of our light, which is the ignition that is required to ignite the grid. And this is how it is brought back online. Yeah. Excellent. Fabulous. Okay. All right. Um, so... I can already feel the energies because my heart is really racing right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just give real quick intentions. Um, and um, let's see. Um, yeah. Just intentions. And before I do this, um, what we'll do here is I'm just going to give the intentions and, um, and then we'll take just a few minutes to get a breath and anything, Christy, anything that you want to add to that, please do. Um, and, um, and then we'll just, you know, take a few minutes to take a breath to prepare ourselves um, to align our energies um, as I bring through the light language and uh, Christy uh, brings through her own beautiful energy here as we align in love um, to bring forth this energy and, and uh, activate these, this pyramid. Okay. All right. So setting intentions for this collaboration between the two Christies as we create and anchor our energies for the activation and our energies for the activation of the crystalline pyramid grid, which resides within the Pacific Ocean between North America, Australia, and South America, designated through symbolic lighthouses at each node. The depth and location of this grid is by no means limited to the coordinated coordinates allocated as is amplified to the electrical currents that will carry it far and wide from waters of the ocean, seas, and land masses making it readily available for those who are interested in tapping into it. So here's the 11 attention, intentions that I, I came, uh, came forth here. Pure activation of the once dormant crystalline pyramid grid, pillar of light and or Trinity way represented here, which you saw earlier in the diagram. Acknowledgement and gratitude of our connection to the portals of Cirrus star system and other star systems that join us now and their amplification of the energies of this beautiful ceremony in this now. Turning the fear in this planet to love. Returning to our authenticity to who we truly are within our heart space. Complete forgiveness of yourself and others through your journeys on this planet and other star systems as this experiment in duality has come to an end as we return to love, which is our divine nature. Acknowledgement knowing of the oneness of all creation, the earth, water, humans, 
animal kingdom, planet, fauna, flora kingdom, whale and dolphin collective, dragon collective, bay collective, mermaid collective, the elemental, and all beings that breathe the oxygen that gives us life. Ease of connection with our galactic selves, families and friends throughout all star systems that are assisting in this ascension process. Complete healing of our four bodies, elemental body systems, along with Gaia. The balancing of the mother, father, divine feminine, masculine energies and masculine energies that have been so distorted through time and space, within and without. The rebirth of humanity unto their, unto their planet Gaia, their mother, as they return as the guardians that they are always or were always meant to be. To welcome in the new photosynthesis of nature that is defined through our fifth dimensional reality. We use the magic of the coordinates and the animal totems as designed on the, on the diagram you saw. The numbers eight, the lion, the numbers nine, the whale, and the number five, the albatross, identified within these sacred nodes, within these land masses. These numbers equal 22, the master number assigned for this activation. Mm, beautiful. I can already feel the energy coming through strong. My body's starting to twitch a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So if there's anything you want to add to that, Christy, any, any other insight or information or intention? Just that we're calling in the support of the beautiful Syrian beings. We have the whales and the dolphins joining us and the beautiful lions the mermaids have also expressed their desire to support us with this, and I welcome that. Mm, yes. The Dragon Collective are going to support the portals for us to allow, and they will allow others who would like to join, to join in. So I'm ready to start when you are Christy okay all right so we'll take um, about three about three deep breaths and um, just um, be in peace we are here to receive and we are here to activate Da jota akita pa u na la ina 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 ina. Do jana ma ita pa kino o na ita pa kum. Jana ma akhen akhen ina ma u na alla alla u japa kuna ta ita ta ita pa u na iju u na. Ti a pa kum ta pa kum na i janama ahita ita hu ta a jana ana 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 u ta pa a ta pa kum na ata ti na ma ala u ku na i jo pa na 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 hmm. Na 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 Tu ja ta pe ku una ma e ta pe ku ta e ta pe ku na i ja ta 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 a ta 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 una i na a ja una ma a ta 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 u ja ta pe u ta ta tu ji e ni a una i ja ta pa u ta e na a ta a ni 
atahakina mino ja ana tu uja takuna taya nama ula ataku uja na ina atatata 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 una ina una jatapa Taijana Tonna ina Yata peku Naija tabaka ina Uta pea ina uja ana ona ea ina Taa uta pekuna Ja ana ma ita pea una ina ana unijo tapa Deja ma ata u na ala akai in ma aju uta pekhe in ma atu uta. Ju uta pe aka in ma ala ona ija ta pekhe na akai. Akai ita pekhe. Uja ona ala uti eta ena 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 ena. Ta ju una. Apaku una akai inama akai ijo utepeka utepeka una ala inama ojo topaku na ina ina inama ayata ita kaina. Tima akai, akai ona akaina. Oja te pekuna, te pekuna ina. Tu e e jonoma akai, akai, akai. Tu nama ala eia nama, oja pe e kun. Ni ina, o te pekha. Tija aina, tibaka, uta, 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 tinama.
So, how was that? <laughs> I feel like a lot of energy. Lot of, you know, it's really like strong energy. Shaking, shaking energy. <sighs> yeah, I feel sort of, um, I feel a bit spacey and out of it. <laughs> I, I feel really immersed within that pyramid at the moment. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. It's like, um, for me, it's, it's all about the feeling. That's why uh, the visuals for me were earlier and seeing them and knowing, knowing where they are. And, and I guess, um, placing that within my being. Um, and, uh, and now for me, it's all, it's all feeling. It's all, uh, it's uh, emotional and, um, yeah. And, you know, a lot of joy at the same time, just mm -hmm. everything coming through and releasing and activating and allowing this energy to, um, to come about for humanity mm. and for Gaia mm -hmm. and others yeah. beyond. I'm just seeing the, yeah. <laughs> I'm just seeing the grid lines in front of me, um, actually lit up with a beautiful, pure white light. So nice. we know it's done. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Did you get any glimpses of the whales and dolphins? I didn't glimpse them, but I felt their energy. felt their presence. Yeah. So just for everybody to know, we are more of the feelers and everybody has their own way of working with energy. And for us at this time, um, we feel into this, uh, so, uh, amazingly. And, um, you know, everybody, again, you know, some people like, even for people who hear this and experience this, you may get all kinds of visions, um, or, you know, have experiences. Um, and I always love to hear those experiences. We would love to hear those experiences as people, uh, explore this energy, um, as it's, it's exciting times we're in and, um, uh, it's only going to get better. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, anything, um, before I stop the recording, um, Christy, anything you want to add or for in closing anything? Um, just for people to acknowledge that when they're drinking water and also to acknowledge all the, the water inside themselves, how beautiful and pure and perfect and whole it is already. Um, I, we got a message a few weeks ago to treat water as if it's a lover, you know, to take it in, um, as a lover, you just, just feel how much it loves us and how beautiful it is. And that is going to help activate the crystalline body within ourselves. Oh, wow. It goes so much to say about how we're all connected. Um, everything is connected. And it's such a big part of us, a big part of the planet, um, you know, percentage of the plant of the Gaia herself is, um, like 75%. And for us, it, it will, um, get up there as well as 75%. I mean, I know that's what I channeled before a message because right now we're 50 to 65, but we're crystallizing. So our water content within our body is just going up. Um, and that's, uh, that's exciting, preparing us, preparing us for our crystallization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to stop the recording, but I want to thank everybody for joining in. And, um, I hope that, um, you have a wonderful experience with this and, uh, tap into the energies for yourself and for humanity as, uh, we are the light workers, the light warriors, the star seeds, uh, the bringers of um, the fifth dimensional reality. So thank you so much um, from my heart to yours. Mm, thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Christy. Thank you so much for thank joining. You. <laughs> Namaste.